part one in a series of videos on the Retivis RC3S, which is a, a new DMR dual band radio that's come out from Retivis. Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to do an overview of the radio. We'll just go through some of the main features and settings. We'll have a look at the menus inside it, and we'll look at programming uh, as well as what else you get in the box. So this is the radio that's uh, in front of me. It's the RT3 encryption, so it's compatible with any other analog two-way radio and uh, any other normal uh, DMR two-way radio. And you've got the option there to migrate between digital and analog uh, quite easily. As you can see, it's almost identical, well it is identical to the TYT MD380 and uh, Retivis RC3 radios uh, in every single way, the same form factor, very similar layout inside uh, which is quite nice, uh, this radio isn't completely alien when you get out of the box like um, when you switch to another brand it's um, it's nice to have something to sort of go off if you know how the MD380 works or the Retivis um, RT3 then you're not going to have any issues with the RT3S so we'll just look at some of the main features of this radio. Uh, it's nice to have another dual band radio uh, added into the mix. Um, for those who have got the MD, uh, this Retivis RC3S is, is dual band VHF and UHF. It does have GPS, so there's two versions of this radio, the one with GPS and one without. So mine does have GPS, which I'll come to um, later in the video. Uh, it uses time division multiple access, or TDMA, um, which, is, which allows several users to share the same frequency uh, by dividing the signal uh, sorry, by dividing the frequency into into two different time slots. Uh, it has fully upgradable cut, so if the user of this radio doesn't interact with the radio for a preset period of time, uh, for example like 10 minutes or 20 minutes, a pre-warning tone will be triggered uh, signaling that it's time for him or her to reset the timer by using the radio in some way, uh, so by pressing the PTT or adjusting the volume. If the user still doesn't interact with the radio, an emergency call will then be initiated between the user's radio and others um, on the same channel. So once uh, the radio wearer activates Lone Worker, they're reminded to check in uh, every 5 minutes or every 10 minutes by pressing the push to talk or, or changing the volume. So checking in lets other users know that everything's okay. So if they're in an environment where there's uh, danger, then this is quite a handy feature. And if the user doesn't check in or doesn't use the radio, uh, it'll automatically transmit an emergency alert and um, that helps needed or help may be needed so the radio's microphone stays engaged until help arrives uh, letting others hear what's happening in the area uh, so this way it protects the user, user's personal safety so for example on shop watches if someone's involved in an arm raid or someone has an aggressive customer or a security person has um, a bit of a confrontation 